Hi, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about the combination machine. When we're using it for interferential, you are going to see that when you plug it in and turn it on, this is what you're going to start with. Same way as if you had were doing it with ultrasound. If you were using it for ultrasound, you would click the bottom you have a preset of a specific time and then you would have to input your values. Today we're going to do look at the interference current and so that is this toggle right here. If you have it on and the upper part is lit up it is specific to interferential or four or quadrupolar if you have it in the lower one, premodulated or bipolar. We're just going to look at what the machine offers you uh, in regards to frequency. This machine allows presets so you know that there will be certain s frequencies that are already on the machine before you turn it on. To identify what those are, if you touch this toggle switch so you have it by frequency, you will see this says 80 to 150, and that's pulses per second or hertz. If you look down here, you'll see that it says high. So that's the high level preset. They also have a whole low level preset, which is 0 to 10. Your supervising therapist will give you the frequency that she wants you to use during the treatment. So you would need to go to the frequency and then modify it. If she wanted you to do 10 to 30, then you could set it at the lower frequency and toggle it up so you were had the right ranges on the two settings. If you had, if she, if she wanted you to do 100 to 130, then you can use the high setting and then change that to 100 and 30. The physiotherapist is going to choose what she's going to have you put in based on what the person needs or what kind of things that the client needs. At this point you would then decide whether you're going to do a target or a sweep. Remember a target is a very small area between the four electrodes and sweep is a larger area. If you are going to do biphasic or Russian, you're going to be using the toggles over here and you would have duty cycles and ramp is indicated here. Going back to the interferential, if we have this set up on a person, you can increase this intensity so you, until they can feel it and then you can hit start and the time will go along.